And whoa, holy moly. I was not expecting that to happen, yet I was at the same time. Hey guys, we're back with uh, Rigs Indoors. We're uh, playing Spin Times Mudrunner today, and this is another series. I just uploaded Far Cry 3 yesterday, and now we're getting into Spin Times Mudrunner. Are we going to be doing more than one series? Yes, we are. And here we go. Uh, we're we're going to hit the map Frog Creek. It's uh, somewhat of a new map. Uh, I, I've already tried it out a little bit. I thought it was a good map to start with. Um, one thing that I'm going to do with uh, this series in, in particular is I'm going to take... Uh, a few vehicles. I'm going to bring up custom vehicles on every vehicle slot. I'm only going to be doing maps, however, that have minimum of three slots. So that will allow me to bring in a support vehicle, a scout vehicle, and a work vehicle. Now, in this case, I've got two work vehicles and two scout vehicles and one support truck. So uh, we're running with uh, Nick's 79 Chevy K5 Blazer. Uh, great mod. Love Nick's. He does uh, a lot of great work. Um, gonna definitely be running a lot of his mods. Our support vehicle is gonna be Banks' 2012 Chevy 3500 Welder. Uh, again, Banks, great guy, great modder. His 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 vehicles are awesome. Uh, just like driving the real thing. Then we're running this Kamaz 65228 and a GMC military truck. Uh, let me just br bring up the specs on that. That's all the way down at the bottom here. Uh, that's a GMC M35A2. And then we got Spuns. Is that Spuns? Oh. Uh, M1008 pickup. Which will also be running as a uh, scout vehicle. We might not get to use it. We'll see. Uh, it's not a very big map. But if we have to, we'll use it. Especially if we roll over the Blazer. So, first things first, uh, let's load it up. We'll start a new game here. Yes, we will uh, overwrite my previous. I was just messing around, checking out the map a little bit. Uh, we're in here. Uh, we don't want to start with this. So, we're going to go into the map, and we're going to bring up the uh, blazer. And right away, I'm actually going to turn down the sound. This is a loud truck. Wow. I don't know if I can actually turn it down in the video here. Just give me a minute. Hopefully this will end up being better. I hope this is better. It's going to be a lot of trial and error depending on the game. I got to write down uh, every sound setting I put in. But I can tell you right now that this is actually quite loud in my headphones. So we're going to drop it just a little bit more. I don't know if this is doing anything in OBS. But we'll leave it at that. Hopefully it helps us out. And hopefully y'all can hear me as I go. What I might even do is just uh, fix it in OBS one more time and see what happens. Okay. Give this a shot. <clears throat> All right, so as a scout truck, we want, oh, we'll just put everything on, uh, hard top or soft top. We want the hard top, throw in the repair kit, just in case we need it. And let's look at the map here. Okay, so we got a fuel station right here, a uh, fuel station over here, a log station, nice and close. Lumber mill, two of them up there, and one more over here with a log kiosk. Now, I didn't bring uh, a loader. I'm not very good with them. 
So uh, we're going to have to keep running back to this log station. So what I might do is uh, just get this blazer out of the way. And then we'll go ahead and load up our two logging trucks. And we will uh, scout the road up as far as this fuel station goes. We'll see where we get to within uh, 25 minutes from now. We might be able to bring out both logging trucks to there. We'll see. Um, I, I, there's some other trails through here. Uh, we might take the uh, military truck and, and check those out. Just so we don't have to go all the way around the map. Like It's not a very big map, so it shouldn't be too hard. But let's just see what we can do. Oh, that looks like fun right there. But we're, we're going to do some trailing on this in some other episodes. There's a log station. So we'll just park the blazer right here. Swap over to the Camaz. That's a big truck. Okay, we don't want a fuel cistern. Uh, no, 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 no. Log carriage? Log carrier. Like, that'll give us the long logs. That one won't. What else we got? Oh, I'll throw that on. Short log trailer, trailer hitch. No, we d actually, we probably need a trailer hitch. Maybe. We'll see. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put on, uh, which one was it again? The log carriage or the carrier? Yeah, the carrier. And then... We need that guy for the long logs. There we go. And what is going on with this other truck that we brought along? Like... That's messed up. We're going to get this loaded up. Don't have a lot of fuel. We might have to uh, take our support truck, grab some fuel, and come back. Come on. There we go. We'll get this guy up and out of the way. Oh boy. That looks like some tight corners up there. And whoa, holy moly. I was not expecting that to happen, yet I was at the same time. All right. Now, can we get long logs on here? We can do medium. That's the best we can do. So do we want a carriage, a short log, log carrier? No. So we're going to put in this guy right here, and we'll just load it up with medium logs. Or short logs. Wow, nice articulation in the bumps. <clears throat> oh, holy crap. Wow, that's a heavy load. Alright. Let's grab... We'll outfit everything right now. So we want fuel and two box. Throw on the headache rack, throw on the light bar. Don't need that. Don't need, oh, those do carry fuel. We'll bring that along. And while we're here, we'll throw on this truck and see what we can do to it. Why not? Sure. 
I guess. No, don't need it yet. And I'm just going to point it out in this direction. I love the look of this truck. I love these old square bodies. They're just beautiful. We're going to take this truck right away and go fuel it up. Oh, slides on the asphalt. Oh, I think we can make it through that. Getting the dangerous water level meter right away, but I think we're good, yes. Now, if I remember right, this bridge is a nice shortcut. Awesome. Oh yeah, take us right there. The reason I opted not to take that camper, even though it can carry fuel, we just need the mobility, right? If we need to winch somebody out with this truck, we need that mobility. We can't just drop a trailer. We'll fill that up. You can carry fuel in a light bar. And a headache rack? How does that work? Alright, we're good. Alright, now back to the blazer and we'll check everything out here. Looks pretty good so far. Now, I think we just stay on the asphalt. Yeah, we do, but that looks like it could be fun. I mean, let's go check this bridge out, because it looks like it's underwater. And, oh yeah, we can get one of those trucks through there. So, let's have a little bit of fun. It's only a short little bit. Man, I wish this was classic white and blue. I, my favorite color is blue. Uh, I like the green, but if this was classic white and blue, I would use this every time around. Okay, it doesn't like automatic. Put it into low and go. That is some deep mud. Bring that down just a bit. That is deep mud. We're gonna put it back back into automatic here, I think. Just let off on the throttle a bit. There we go. Oh, this this truck is great. I mean, it just feels pretty real. Aside from the fact this is not real, and a bridge that ain't underwater. I'm gonna take the logging trucks this way. I'm kidding. Whoa. Yeah, we're back on the uh, main road. Oh, that's an interesting corner. We might have to check that out. I mean, the military truck is going to be okay, but the Kamaz, I, I don't know. It's pretty long. Oh, that was close. That was close to hitting that tree. We should be able to take that corner without a hitch. 
Yeah, we're definitely going to have to come back and explore this map. I just saw another trail. It looks pretty fun. So if you watch the Far Cry 3 episode, um, I talked a little bit about doing potentially some exclusive content, and I think trailing on the maps after we've completed them might just be it. With maybe one episode per month coming out free, maybe two, we'll see. Yeah, when I was testing this map out, I actually went down it, it off to the right here. I actually flipped. Uh, I was running with the stock or the the blazer that comes with the the uh, American Wildlands expansion, and I actually flipped it in there. It was not fun. Tried to get it out with the Hummer. It was not pretty. Then I flipped it again, just coming uh, into the fuel station here. All right, we'll fill this up and get it out of the way. And we will bring the Kamaz up. Yeah, that corner is going to be interesting. Are we going to fit? Oh yeah, it's gonna drop down. We'll fit. Oh man, that's close. I'm gonna do some damage here. Oh, it just fits. I don't believe this. How about the logs? Are they gonna be fine? That's the important part. We're good. Oh, that is so lucky. I would hate to have had to take this truck up that muddy hill. Like it's having a hard enough time on the asphalt with that slight incline. Oh boy. Well, we made that one corner fine. Rubbing up on tree branches every time we take a wide corner though. But no problem getting up to this uh, fuel station, I think. Now, we're only going to fill it up once, and that'll be right now. Every other time we need fuel in this truck, we will use our support rig. Oh, it took a while to stop. All right, we'll pull it out, out of the way here. Wow, that's a nice looking picture. If that fuel station symbol wasn't in the way. Okay, uh, we're on to this truck now. This will be interesting. It's a very heavy load. So if we have to hit any mud or water, it's gonna slow right down. We'll get a good test on that up at the bridge. I do not dare taking this up that hill. Look at that mark we made with the blazer. Whoa. The steering's a little sketchy.
Oh, that just powered right through. But the steering is very sketchy on the asphalt. I don't know if that's too little grip or too much grip. We might have to jump back to the original spin tires every once in a while. Uh, it's something I haven't, ever since Mudrunner came out, I haven't really uh, left is the original spin tires. I like going back to it. Uh, there's a lot of great maps, a lot of great mods for it. We might have to do a couple challenges over there. Show you all my favorite maps. Oh man, come on. Wow. If you are not careful with the steering on this thing, you can oversteer it so bad. Ah. Uh, I can just stay there. Head back to the uh, Chevy. Or the uh, Blazer. Whoa. Water over road. Uh, how far away are we from the first uh, lumber mill here? We got one up in the trees. It's off the road, but it looks like there's an entrance point right here, and then we can loop back or loop in around. So we'll check out both right now and just see how it looks, and then we'll start bringing up the trucks. Maybe hit one of each. Oh, is that one of the entrances right there? I don't believe it is. Oh, this thing is just eating this water. Okay, there's one right there. That looks pretty easy. And then the other one, I don't know why they put a drop point in the water, but it's here, in the water. It's flooded. Pretty deep, but we're not getting damaged. But my thought was just take a wide corner with the trucks, or at least with the Camaz, and just kind of turn here. But I think that might be too hard on the truck with the, with the logs in it. So we'll go ahead and we will park this right here. Grab the Camaz and bring it up. So I think we'll get the one in the uh, in the woods there first. Oh, that's just beautiful. Plowing right through. Take it a bit wide. Oh yeah, we're good. Make sure we're straight. Perfect. Now we will have to drive this all the way back. But we literally have 10 minutes, uh, six minutes by my count, uh, before we're ending this episode. So we're gonna have a little bit of fun. So at the beginning, I said we would take this truck and go check out this other lumber mill and see if we can uh, 
take one of our logging trucks or both through the river here either by over here or right here which i'm thinking right here would be better so we're gonna take the next couple of minutes five minutes or so and give it a shot with this truck which is very loud Now we don't want unnecessary water damage. Alright. Now I'm going to say right now, we're not taking truck up this uh, little hill there. I mean this truck, sure. Logging truck, no. Ah. Oh. Well, we might be able to get the commands through there. We would definitely be able to get the uh, military truck through. This is just so fun. Oh, what's going on here? Interesting bridge. That's very custom. Thing does well on the rocks, I must say. Don't have to take it out of automatic. It's a very well rounded off rotor. We'll be driving this again. Now we still have a little bit of time, so let's just take a quick rip over to that muddy hill and see how well this can climb. Uh, quickly I think we're only gonna have like a minute right, we're gonna leave it in automatic and just see how well it can go uh, I think the blazer is doing better let off the throttle a bit. Oh, it's gone, it's gone. Very nice. Beautiful.
This track is awesome. Well, I think this is where we'll end it. Right here. On this bridge. We'll camp. Spend the night. And when we come back, we will uh, do another logging run with our logging trucks. Uh, right to where we just dropped them off. And then we'll actually... Uh, that should be the next episode. Drive them back, load them up. And then the episode after that, we'll hit the third and final uh, lumber yard. And after that, maybe do some trailing. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you want to see something. If you uh, thought I could have done something a little bit different or better, by all means, I will read as many comments as I can. Just don't overload it. That's all I ask. So until I see you guys again, have a good one.